Hello, my name is Mikai Stevens. Welcome to the Hamlet Development Log number 16. I uh, work for a company called Haven Studios and we work on a game called For Hamlet. So, we are doing a new sort of thing here where we want to show the, uh, game, the game first. Um, I think um, so a lot of these, uh, a lot of people do uh, devlogs, but um, I think this is one of the things I would like to accomplish. We still haven't fixed a lot of the menu things here. Uh, we do have this campaign slot. Uh, we should be able to delete the slot now. This is one of the major things. We spent quite a few days working on the save system. Uh, it's still kind of a long ways away from um, where it wants to be. But um, And this is kind of a new... Uh, I'm not sure how long I've, I've talked about this, but this is kind of the character creation system. You can see the game already booted up in the background. We'll have to change a lot of the... Um, you know, make this a, a black uh, screen. Maybe we'll have to, you know, do the preload. Um, and do like an, an asset creation scene, but our character creation scene. Um, so it's like um, the the thing about the character creator uh, that we're going to do is we are sometimes you go in, and we may still have this at some point. Sometimes you go in and you sit down and you create a you know a character through the character creation. Normally you have hair choices, uh, outfit choices, what kind of class abilities you want to do. And for our RPG, it's going to be more like uh, the real choice we're looking for here is uh, your gender, because that's sort of, um, but, anyway, so let's just, uh, anyway, I, I, I always do that, sometimes I'll talk, and then be like, oh wait, I want to talk about that later, but the thing about the gender is, like, we do want to ask that for right away, but we're not really, um, we're op opening up the option that you can choose uh, to be an unknown gender, so these are just sort of uh, personality choices, um, they determine the course of the game, uh, and based on the settings, they can be uh, changed, but you, you don't, you're not forced to do these options. So the first one is you can actually choose to be unknown if you want. Uh, that means that you are, uh, unfortunately with our game, uh, you, the, with male and female uh, are the options that we have uh, with a lot of games. And we are giving you the option of unknown because we want to sort of say, that's sort of it, that, that you can sort of say with the unknown gender, you you know, it's we're we're not trying to force someone to create this character when they don't even know what our game's going to be like. Um, so that's kind of the hope of the character creator. Uh, anyway, so I tend to like to go rescue the princess for the uh, the Zelda-like uh, game where the princess is in you know been in danger, so we're going to go rescue her. Uh, and then we have um, uh, I'd like to go for money because that's uh, one of the I'm not really big into money, but it's one of the focuses of my game to sort of it's fun to simulate money uh so anyways and then that's it and then that's the um the character creation so this is a um i should talk about the control scene we'll walk around a little bit um this is kind of a test oops uh, yeah you can see we definitely need to f um work oh yeah definitely need to work on the camera clipping um yeah so you can see bear, see it there but anyway so one of the we're talking about making a roguelike rpg game and part of that, the roguelikes, oh, I guess I was going to show um, the uh, st Stone Carl st Stone Stoop, which, uh, but anyway, the traditional roguelikes are your, they're 2D looking down in a world, and, um, but you can only move uh, per tile. So that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, plus, the, uh, we think of this idea as, you know, this is a tick in the game, like that's a tick. And then this is a tick in the game. Um, where you can actually decide kind of what you want to do. So that's kind of, um, I know a lot of roguelikes talk about the procedural generation, um, which is one aspect of the roguelikes. Um, but we feel like that um, the sort of the movement and how you interact with the curl. Now we are talking about at some point we might create a uh, open world RPG. Um, that's sort of where we're going with this a little bit, but we're sort of limiting in Hamlet to this idea. Anyway, so this is our new uh, castle. Uh, we're talking about castles as if they're going to be a long term project. Uh, we actually, you know, we're kind of, we'll talk about the Hamlet 3.0 version. Um, but then we come back into, this is kind of our test uh, little world here. We just, we added in this um, ground plane. Uh, we, we see we, um, this is the, uh, working on the nodes in the dungeon Um uh, path. This is our new house uh, scaling that we f feels a little bit better. You can see it has the. Um, excuse me, I didn't mean to bump my. You can see it has the stone foundations here. Um, we'll see some other buildings that look like that as well. And this is our tiny tune uh, blacksmith character, uh, which they, they fit really nice together. Uh, I know I, um, that's uh, art's definitely one of those things. Like, 
Uh, and that's about the castle art too. It's like it's it's very blocky. Well, the hardest part about these um, node-based tile movement is the fact that these um, these buildings have to be very very um, you know like very uh, clean in how they do this. And the gate is actually a really great example of um, maybe I should make it um, um, you know inset a little bit more. I like the style of the gate right now, uh, and which is you know hey let's go look at the gate. Well, how can we do that? We have this new way to be able to go back into our, our, our camera view here but this is kind of this is the blockiness of the castle is sort of like in blocking mode and like um, setting up a uh, a drama a stage or something like that and so we're just talking about these walls that are three um, I believe this is a three but the two wide wall and it's three high and it's three wide um, and then the the towers I think these are three by three towers and then they have this four by four um, crest on top or whatever they're called so this is kind of a, a the smallest kind of castle we can think of to build uh, with the gatehouse here this is the entire gatehouse here uh, we'll see that in probably a few minutes um, actually probably that's why I get the hours the video gets into an hour but but anyways you can see kind of right here there's definitely a lot of camera clipping issues but you can see right here this is really a half uh, tile right about here so the gate sits right here. It looks good. We could maybe extend this out to a full gate tile here. But then back over here, we've already, you know, we're already a, a tile and a half this way. So we could maybe move this forward half a tile. That might work as well. And so that's kind of what we're looking at right now. But the graphics do look pretty, um, pretty thin. But we're actually just trying to get the ability to, um, um, you know, and this gatehouse, the whole, the whole gatehouse lifts up. Um, here, I think I can, it takes, we have about a second swap on the camera, but, oh, oh, oh can I come in from the side? No, oh, it wasn't working. Oh, come on. I demand entrance. There we go. Uh, anyways, you can see the whole, oops, yeah, now I can't, oh, yeah, as you can see the whole, the whole block lifts up and down, so, um, and it's sort of, it's trying not to land on the person because we felt that would be bad. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's the game demo. It's pretty good, but we're talking about art. Um, so we do have this. This is the Ultimate Poly Fantasy, I believe, from Aquarius Max. We do have this gate, um, these um, this graphics, and you can sort of see, I think the crests on these towers are not as great as we'd like them to be. We like the, uh, the look. I mean, maybe you could still get the, um, you know, you get a little bit of overview, so you can actually um, drop down... Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, attack the uh, uh, seizures. But anyway, so these are um, great. We feel like this section right here works really nicely. We've tested this in our dungeon. I I, I was thinking about showing that dungeon example, but because um, I could, but I, I don't think I could find because um, I I imported the pack and then made a lot of changes and I should have just kept the pack imported. But anyway, so this is great because we can actually have this three wide area and you can walk down. Um, there's a little bit of troublesome, like, of having the characters sit, like, at the, uh, you know, the archer points. These really need to be one block um, tiles, but, you know, so one block, and then you have a block, and then another block, um, and then you can see the doors. But some of the problem is of this, um, it's, 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 it's a really cool model, and it, I think it would hold up under scrutiny. And I love the look of this. This is one of the, pro the first pack. I really love the look of the castle. Um, I love the ramparts up here. This is, I want a lot of gameplay with the ramparts and be able to walk around these castles into the ramparts. Um, there's doors in these towers that are going to happen. Um, one slight problem with this as well as these towers, they really need to be um, modular. Uh, that the fact that you can be able to walk um, into this door, into here, but then have the crest be right here. It's like, so this is one of the problems I've noticed is that these are very core pieces that are not split apart um, and it makes it better I think in terms of this but then it makes it harder to make these castles really procedural anyway so you can see this is kind of what we're thinking about but we're just trying to get a blocking example um, I think there was another image up here that was kind of interesting um, well these houses are a little you know these are a little bit different houses um, I think it's kind of a it reminds me of, there's actually a really cool building system and a lot of really cool gameplay that we might uh, see what they're doing and then we've got these um, these logs are exactly kind of what we're looking for um, you know where you have you can t cut down the tree 
and then we're looking at cutting down the logs and then sending them through a saw. So we have a lot of cool things. Yeah, this is the shot I was looking at. So, um, so we could either do this, um, you, the textured look. Um, these are, it's just a very thin texture. That's how some of the houses are built. Um, but, um, it sort of becomes a slight, um, thing. Um, anyways, I guess uh, people have, are familiar with our inside of our houses are pretty bad already. So uh, we have some solutions for that. So, so we could layer these, um, textures, like, uh, put a texture, um, on front of the castle wall, um, you know, for the, um, um, for this look right here. We could put this, these sections, um, you know, and they'll have to, like, uh, this is, I saw another little thing about this gatehouse as well, is this, this is, seems like a weird gatehouse, that there should be a tower on this gatehouse and this gatehouse, so, um, I saw, well, I might have to see how the pack goes, there's a, this is a really cool environment, but the problem is, how do I get this, you know, this, um, you know, it's scaling correctly, and I think I can't run around, um, as an open world, it fits really nicely, so we'll have to see what we're going to try to do. Um, and it does a lot of cool things, but there's a lot of um, various small details that I'm having trouble putting together. So, And some of the houses, they kind of, it reminds me of a high fantasy, and they don't have that, that um, you can see on our house. I know it's not, like on this one is actually much, you can see the, the, the material, and this is just a, you know, a minor material work that we've um, implemented. Plus, we actually have the edging depending on the shaders um, this is what we really want uh, we feel that's missing on our characters a little bit um, and the black on black is a, a big problem but um, um, but the edging on the, the things would I think it's like a comic um, tune shading almost but we want it very thin uh, same with the tree you can see the tree really could use it as well um, and that's the, this tree is also we have like I think we talked about this some point we have 17 different trees so uh, and then we have, like, we wanted to avoid trees like these because they feel a little too more rustic. And also, too, that we have uh, fences and um, and a, um, crops as well. And then there's a lot of under... And these, these market stalls are actually cool. Uh, and then here's a weapon shop we think is really cool. So it gives us a lot of uh, tone, um, especially the blacksmith. Um, I think there was a... Let's see. We're, at some point, we're going to be talking about blacksmith. And here's another really good example of a very clean blacksmith that has the core mechanics so you could come up to here buy an item at the shop and then the blacksmith could be working over here or you could even buy the blacksmith shop and work at the blacksmith shop and then you know have a home here as well so um you know it's kind of like um um oh shoot i was gonna look up a game and i didn't mm, is there a way to f here let me see if i can quickly mm, sorry ah yeah cook here we go so this is Athos was talking about this game called Legend of Grimlock. So, and I get so distracted. Uh, anyway, so uh, you know, um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So you know, you can pick up a blacksmith shop. Um, you know, or, or we're gonna have uh, various things. You know, weapons, uh, weapon. You know, weapons, equipment. Um, you know, various uh, things. Uh, potions, I think, is also. Um, you know, it's a lot of RPG elements. Um, so the idea is kind of like. Um, you know, see, there's, and then we can add in fishing and lots of really cool. So there's a lot of cool, but sort of the idea from Hamlet um, is kind of talking about this idea that in the original vision of Hamlet is going to be this small. I, I likened it to a settlers uh, in civilization, where it's like you you start the game out and you get this small settler band, like the Dwarf Fortress. You get a a group of seven. I think Dwarf Fortress is a little bit more realistic where we want to go because you start out in Dwarf Fortress with a small band of people. In this initial example, we're going to be starting with one character um, in more of the traditional um, roguelike RPG, and then you decide that character. And then as the time progresses, the, the, the towns and, and areas will get bigger. Uh, and that's kind of what this is meant to demo is this is the the th this is kind of the world we just talked about on Wednesday here that we want to build without the buildings and the and the walls and various scenes and then this is kind of the vision uh, for Hamlet 1.0 where it's like you start out with a you know a, a house and then you build a well and then you start getting more and more people uh, and then you can get in families and, and, and businesses and this is kind of like then becomes the town uh, of the roguelike uh, and then maybe there will be a, a royalty will come in um, in the Hamlet 2.0, we're calling this. And it's like, 
the, the goal for Hamlet is to ship a roguelike RPG that's, you know, that's simple and has um, the, the things, you know, that, that makes it, it's a fun game um, is our goal. And sort of this, and it's kind of limiting to the word Hamlet. This is kind of like the village, and then this is the town. Um, but then you can sort of see the royalty comes up here, and then eventually royalty is going to want to build a, you know, large castle up top there. Um, you know, some sort of castle view. Actually, I think there's a pretty good, um, um, well, let me, okay, sorry. I think there's a really good, um, here, let's speed through this, uh, yeah, right here, so it's like, here's your little village here, and then over here you can build the castle, and then depending on, you know, where you want it, so, um, but then that's, uh, sort of like, uh, this is sort of the other view of the village, um, area. We think is great because we can build these houses. We like these houses a little bit better. They have a um, little bit more fantasy themes that we're going for, um, and with the roofs and various uh, themes, you can actually there's a like little sh uh, mulch um, shop here. Um, this is kind of like a big building, uh, but then these also have interiors as well. And then Zug Zug is also that uh, art pack for the uh, the beds we're talking about. So the idea is you can walk into your house, the the roof will go away. And then we'll try to include some better. Um, so here's the roof models that we can have, and then we can have a lot of variety of houses um, right here uh, in a small village. And you know, in this view, so it's like some combination of um, this is the same Zug Zug pack, um, the uh, Zug Zug Art Medieval Village pack, and then this one's the Fantasy Building Kit. So I think this one's a little bit cheaper. So this would probably be our first pickup, and we already own this pack here. So um, so yeah, and we we picked it up on sale so we couldn't resist um it doesn't quite fit um you know like you know these docks are four wide and then maybe these are two wide but you can walk around but it's like you'd have to rescale the entire world and or eventually we want to get to that point and add in ships and all sorts of things but right now this is our, our primary goal and then once this is done my hope is that i would you know and i really love fantasy role-playing games i would hope that I, I would really want to continue to build on that and what that means is really unknown at this point you know it's not going to include most likely dlcs um it you know we you know we might look at i might even say hey i really want to i've been working on a space game for a long time too so i might want to focus on that after hamlet but um, we'll have to see. But I'll, I'll always be working on improvements to this and stuff like that. And then, uh, anyway, so then the building. So we're out in time. So let's look. Um, let's look up. Oh yeah, okay, we're great. Um, I talked a lot about. I just, uh, did a, a video of this first, and I talked about uh, over an hour of. Um, um, here, let me look up Grimlock One because it's like, um, can we get a video of this? No, but you could. Um, is there a we might have to look up two. Let's see if they have a video too. They should have a video too. Uh, we want gameplay. These are pretty cool games. I really. Oh wow! Look at that. Look at that environment. This is what I'd love to have. But you know, it's like where the this like island um, and sea. So that's kind of where I'm going with. But it's a little too more realistic to me. And it's kind of like. But then here we go. Here's um. So hopefully we'll see. Yeah. Um. No, come on. So you can see the world is what we're doing here. And then you can see the characters moving uh, tile to tile. But uh, can we get a... Yeah, so they're moving tile to tile. And it's, it's a little more realistic for me. And they also have this outside view. I've actually... I've never played this game. Uh, I mean, I've played something very similar to it. And it's like there... So that's that that con, that movement we're looking at. It's like you can... That's why I think it's Legend of Grimrock. Because I showcased a video of that. that are, and then new... Thing. So it's like that's sort of the. You know, can we get a, So it's like you're sort of. Um, I think the character is moving on the 3D view. Um, this person right here sells it um, to what you know, and it's kind of like yeah, right there where it's like the character is in this tile and they move to this tile, and it's like this is kind of what we're exactly trying to go for. Is this? This is a little dark for my taste. Oh, you know, you. I hit a bad mouse button is so sensitive. Anyway, so it's like you get this. Um, yeah, you get that, that jump from here to here, and it's like you're still moving. So jumps or, you know, moving tiles, and that's and the, the character does the same way. And that's kind of what this, um, this is sort of, um, I think we're in full screen, but anyways, that's what this is trying to portray, is this ability to, um, um, oh, 
you know, hear me. Um, uh, the other thing too is we uh, um, usually when I test, I go into the like the Hamlet. Ver this is the version three of Hamlet. It just means the um, it's the GitHub version three of the engine. Anyway, so it's that that sort of like it's um, our tiles are much smaller, I think. Um, and maybe they shouldn't be, but we feel that, you know, it's going to be, um, it's kind of more character driven than a part. And part of the thing is like, there's a four person party. Um, and so I think that's why he's, he, he's thinking about that. And, um, if I can find under here, um, let's see, we're going to look up stone call salt stoop here. Let me go to part one. So I'm not, <laughs> Um, yeah, here we go. So, smart, smart dog. Oh, yeah. can't start. Nope, sorry, sorry. Yeah, even I have to watch ads. It's horrible. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I have thought about... What, are you kidding me? <laughs> Two ads? Can we watch a third one? Uh, anyway, so you can see that the, this is the traditional mud like we've been talking about. Um, these are fast movements. So you can see, like, he's going to move there and there. Yeah, so it's like, that's kind of what we're trying to emulate is that movement. This has quick movement. Well, these are actually ranged combat and melee combat and stuff like that. Um, he's an ogre wizard. Uh, we kind of like this idea, but we're not going to have classes right away in our games. We've been really debating about what sort of classes we want to include. Um, there are a lot of... Um, enemies we want to include kind of cartoony enemies we've talked about various uh, ways to do that um, but uh, anyways and this you can sort of see that, that this is a really a traditional roguelike where you can um, sort of step um, between the tiles um, and you know and move around in that way we need to sort of um, improve that and that's uh, definitely on the agenda to have this be um, you know we've you know it's like that sort of the idea is these like the animations need to be cleaned up a lot you know and we're not we're not worried about the animations we're just trying to get the feel this is the and this is kind of the a new iteration we've sort of took in the same uh, code based but then t uh, talked about yeah what just a gates uh, definitely uh, not a not working as intended but um, and so it's like we we're just kind of testing testing the blocking testing the tile movement um, and sort of is it feel I think is there a yeah here we go I think we have this, this charge combat so we're testing combat a little bit as well um, so you know so it's like you can you, we think you know it's um, one here let me yeah the gate doesn't seem to I think it's just trying to be uh, so one thing I think is let's see if I back up by here let me go over here. That's kind of, it does become like you you know like a lot of these games can you back up you know he's messed up anyway so uh, yeah you know it's it's still a lot of work in progress so uh, so let's uh, so there's our game demo so we're still kind of the here's the bad news but it's I think we're sort of there almost there um, we we have uh, the one a couple of the problems we have to a, approach is Steam has done a new update so we have to I don't think it's going to be a problem for us because it's mostly network changes. But we have to upgrade um, upgrade our Steam profile, uh, which we think is really simple. Um, and then we have the um, we also need to do um, the builds. You know, we have a, a build that we're testing. Um, it seems to work pretty good. Um, we're sort of trying to get the save system up in place, which is going to be the save system is not going to be included. Um, we should get to the you know this is all still in testing coming soon. Um, and then, um, then we also need to think what the main, I think the main holdup for us is, are we adding, we're taking a lot of gameplay away and we're, we're sort of getting to the more final state, you know, a better state of the game. Uh, that's kind of why the version from the version two, which is where the, the 10 beta sits to the version three of the game engine. And it's like, it's a newer, cleaner, smaller game engine. Um, and we like it a lot. We, it's, it's been much, much cleaner. Um, as we're adding in more bloat, uh, you can see the bloat we're sort of adding in, and we're actually going to add in, we've been working on this other project, um, but I just liked how clean it is that we have, you know, the, um, the, um, the, you know, the game libraries um, are just sort of like, you know, some sort of a lot of uh, core mechanics, but then the game geo is the uh, menu, and this menu can actually be added on top of anything, uh, really. Uh, and you know, so, and then the, we actually have to clean up the menu as, as well. So we're, we should probably get to that. And then there's a few uh, bugs like that. So 
this I think it's just a lot of things but we're just we just kind of work on a lot of things like you can see the um, well, the alias is the uh, alias uh, we, I think we talked about that at some point anyways there's a whole um, they, they have their own pathfinder which we're sort of going to do and they have cut scenes and various scenes we've been working but and then here's the kingdom um, here's the so you, it's like I like this because we can just go in here and just run a castle build um, and it's like it feels very smooth um, I don't is this not I don't know if this is actually doing anything per se. Anyway, so it just it kind of has the 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 the, um, the uh, and this includes the dungeon controller. So it's like a new it's that dungeon controller we pulled in from the dungeon. So it's like a new way to uh, oh, and the camera world rig is what holds the the character camera. And then I think there's a castle runner. Yeah, the castle runner is the new. Um, and then the game switcher. Uh, it's just, well, I wasn't going to show any code because I get kind of lost in code, but and it doesn't actually work. So, uh, -bum 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 -bum. here, let me close this out. Um, we talked about this. We're good here. So, it's a fun game, uh, definitely. Um, and then we, we talked about the art. So, uh, yeah, anyway, sorry. I get so distracted. Uh... Anyway, so yeah, so then the, the castles. Uh, then we like, we like this because then it's like we have character design. Um, crafting uh, family uh, we're we talk we're gonna be talking a lot about family um, and we've got these this node node world sort of a um, oh yeah yeah that's kind of um, we talked a little bit that last time um, and this sort of like testing out the um, this is kind of the original um, buildings ideas where where this is the walls and this is kind of like the three by three castle wall we have these um, you can see these um, barely yeah, there we go um, you can see the castle walls will be sort of these walls right here, and then if it's if it's a three by three, it will you know fix and do all that. That's the plan, anyways. Um, yeah. So and then here's our our game choices. So I like how it's split up and and really cool in that respect. So, uh, anyways. Uh, so yeah. So let's just uh, move on, get through the rest of the uh, the presentation here. Uh, so yeah, so we, we're still kind of uh, on the point eight or point oh eight on the live branch, the point ten on the beta branch, and we also included this new point eighteen of the alpha branch. We're pretty much uh, guaranteed that that's the next uh, release we're working on. Um, it's planned. It just seems like it fits with uh, our, our our messaging from before, um, and you know it's probably more like the point forty eight <laughs> branch or uh, point version point forty eight, and that's still like the pre alpha early access uh, thing. So. Uh, our, this is kind of our, just a status report. We like these because they give us, um, these are kind of not necessary anymore, um, where it's like we're just sort of um, talking about the fact that, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty much on schedule right now. Um, I, but I do kind of like this. It gives us some some, some context for where we're at. Um, we, we did say that on the 15th, uh, on the log 15, that, oh, we're not going to work on this right away. And then you can see we just the next day we wanted to be recording some RPG and um, stuff like that. Uh, um, videos and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, so this is kind of our new um, the lineup. I, I'm sorry, I, sk I guess I skipped a lot of that when I did the demo. But um, this kind of we have this new thing called announcements, um, and then we have this the soon topics. You know, which are coming soon, uh, and then the castles. We have the gate test, and then RTS, and the, part of the f is finding the fun. That's sort of the um, we may split off the RTS for later. But it, it definitely helps in testing out a lot of things. But we'll we'll kind of have to see exactly. And then are still our goals to ship. So these are still in testing. A lot of yeah, you know, I think a lot of people as are, these um, dev logs are kind of early access looks at these things. And then these kind of still in testing. You know, the castles may never come out. Um, I, that's one thing I'm worried about is if I ship the castles and ship some of these things, I, I may have to cut them later. And it's like I'm not. Because um, I, I, there's going to be a castle in the game, I think, at some point, but it's not going to be accessible. You know, kind of like graveyard. Oh, you know, go to the castle. Anyway, so we also have this uh, game design. We've been uh, wanted to showcase this. Um, it's really cool. Kind of a promo for our other uh, so Wednesday uh, midweek uh, video here. Um, we have this uh, wrote this document about a month ago about RPG design, and we split it off. And we actually split it off again. And we actually have another document called Castle Design. So, so anyway, so video. Uh, I think this one I went on Thursday. Uh, this talked about that that world I was talking about that the, where the castle's sitting in the world, and this is that dungeon where the dungeon's sitting in the world. So it's a lot of uh, really early kind of design philosophies, and that's kind of what these are. are I like the design pillars, 
uh, item bloat. Uh, we were talking about the blacksmith a little bit, so we'll see that in a couple weeks. And then the family heir. This one's actually a huge, huge spoiler for the game. Uh, I accidentally uh, shared a huge spoiler in the game, so look forward to that in a few weeks. Um, so it's it's one of the problems with these uh, developments. Um, you know, it's like as a game player, you sort of really get spoiled on some of the the things that are happening. Um, I hope it's uh, it's gonna. This is kind of this is one of the core mechanics that a lot of RPG design has been talking about, and I hope this this spoiler really um, showcases the um, the coolness of what we're trying to do. People have been asking for these in RPGs for a long time, so. Why am I the person to do it? I don't know, because I'm just ambitious and, and young and stupid still. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so that the Hamlet plan is still point, the point 18. Um, yeah, so this is kind of, um, this is the original design. We're going to keep this for a very long time because we like, um, we like the, this sort of reminder of where we're trying to, you know, where we were. And then we have this new one of where we're trying to go. Um, so we, this, um, this is that Zug Zug Art. So we're trying to go here. We've been working on the wells and this village view uh, in a chunk for a very long time so it's like this is kind of it may not get this big um, you know we might have you know just this little tiny but we do have this idea of, 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 of a church or a tavern um, people's houses and some workplaces uh, and then eventually you know this is kind of where we want to go in the future so that's kind of a really nice thing um, and then yeah, so uh, we're talking about this. Uh, we we didn't skip over to this in the announcements, but we've been talking about the Haven Discord for a long time. Uh, Haven Studios Discord. We actually do have a Haven Studios Discord, um, and it's like, well, what can we do there? Well, we're part of the Sharp Extent Discord, and we share a lot of things there on Sharp Extent, like little tiny videos. So um, it might be cooler. Uh, we usually just do a post unlisted video. We did an unlisted video to I think. Uh, you saw that in that channel, and that's where uh, Athos could respond to that video and say, hey, that's cool. Uh, and so we might, that's one of the things we could do is early looks at some of the, even earlier looks at some of the dev. And, you know, and then it's like we can, you know, if you're really like, what are we working on day to day? Why is these things taking so long? What are you actually doing? We, you know, we could post screenshots and, you know, talk about things um, Anyway, so that's part of it, uh, and then that's the presentation. So, uh, the other thing I, I guess I can point it out right here. The other thing I want to talk about too is that the the tier progressions of these um, these uh, wooden walls, and it's like where you these uh, fortifications, and this like this little gate is sort of a, a mini gatehouse, uh, which is kind of like we we're talking about the major gatehouse, and we do have this idea that when you in the RTS, sort of, as you build up in the game, you know, we, we, we call the uh, we call this starter house a shack. <laughs> it's supposed to be a shack, but it's kind of like this, uh, it's supposed to be a rundown shack. Um, anyway, so then it's like, you know, from there, and then you get these little ornate houses, um, and then this is going to be a, the initial gate, um, or walls that we in, in might include, and then you can sort of see fences and various um, aspects of that. So I think it's... Um, it's really cool. Uh, one thing I don't like about this shot, it's really bright. You can see I like the dark. Um, this probably is a little bit bright uh, too, but I, I, you know, sort of uh, copied it and it needs to be, I like the color, but it's like, you need some edge shading as well. Uh, and also I need to really clean up this. I, I'm just not an artist at all. Anyway, so I'm aware of some of the things that we're working on. Uh, it's sort of this end game development. You have to decide. Uh, what's important, uh, but I like these shots. This is kind of where we were, and this is where we want to get to. Is that you know this could be, um, you know this could be the house you're standing at right here, and then you build a well and build up build up the house, uh, and and the town will sort of build up around you as well, uh, because they discovered some resource or some cool thing that they're like, oh yeah, we really want to build a town here. So the king will start sending in uh, people, and you know as you you know, open up more areas, and that will open up, you know, weapons and potions and act, allow you to have more access, to, and the, the small town will build up, and then over here in this mountain, you know, off to the side here is like a dungeon entrance that you go into, and it's like, now you can explore the dungeon and go through that, so, anyways, I think that's a good, pretty good wrapping up point, it's uh, like definitely a lot, ha half is long, so I know that I get to talking in these videos, and it's really fun for me, but, um, kind of gets me, um, Especially, it's really nice to kind of get this idea of, you know, now I can, I kind of have a, I, I talk myself through, you know, where we're going in the game. And I've, I've always sort of known that that's kind of where I was going. And that's, it's definitely something I, I'm trying to do now is just get out there where I want to go with this game, what the game wants to look like. 
And um, and then also understand though that there are, there are hard choices that I want to make, and I haven't really made those hard choices. The the Legend of Grimrock sort of roguelike movement is fluid right now, and we're testing it, and we're sort of seeing how it works. And you know we are sort of sticking to the tiles, and but we're sort of trying to be flexible about the tiles as well. Um, but eventually we want to plan out a, um, a kind of our own view of what we think is important and see how that works. And that's going to be part of that future stuff about, uh, um, so it's like there are, you know, so we're just kind of showing the direction, but we're also saying, Hey, we're sort of fluid and, and to us a lot of based on feedback too, a lot of, you know, the, um, how's, you know, the camera clipping, uh, you know, I'm noticing it more because people have been talking about it a lot more, um, I, I understand those are the things, and I, you know, have some solutions for them, but it takes, you know, it's like what, I want to focus on the game, you know, get, getting the game back up and running, getting the, um, you know, the, the, uh, the point ten version into the new, uh, feeding the point ten version of the Game Engine 3. So, anyways, thanks very much. We'll see everybody next week. Uh, we have a, uh, worker working on a, um, kind of a, a new system coming up here pretty soon, so hopefully we'll show that off, um, uh, another early access into one of the another systems we've been talking about that sort of feels like um, which we'll talk about in the family here so and then uh, we didn't talk about it um, uh, I, guess I don't have a screenshot but the ne what's coming up next to is the dungeon design um, so it's it's talking more like the dungeons aesthetics of what what makes a real dungeon and um, sort of we want that the depth of the dungeon that is that's at the, the where you can go in and it's not just a flat 2d world like even this picture is just a flat it feels 3d but it's it's, it's nice to build on a flat world but then if it just feels too flat like our game right this um this example is just feels you can especially with the edging here of the black so we'll talk a lot about that in the dungeon video uh which is on thursday i think and then well next monday we'll have another devlog video so th thanks very much uh can hopefully you're uh, excited for where things are going because I'm definitely am. I know it's taken a lot longer. Um, I, I do have another year and a half plan to develop this. So, and then that's just it. I'm talking about Hamlet 2.0 already. So that's maybe you know three years from now. But I think this will go a lot smoother once we have the the core engine uh, built and ready to go, um, and that everything can fit into place. You can it's sort of coming together, but it's it's just missing a few pieces, especially the uh, save system and sort of the data elements that are becoming we're a massive trouble this week it was kind of a massive massive headache to get all that data um you know working in the manners that i like and 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 wrapping my head around where the data comes from and where it sits and how to how to pull it out and 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 match it up with the, the current data anyways you take care thanks very much have a good one